The following report contains flash photography. Yes, the turnout was very high. That wasn't a surprise uh, because the contest was so tight. Everybody knew how much each vote counted. Uh, we've just had here in this hotel what amounted to a concession speech by opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim. It wasn't the way he put it. He said he wasn't yet ready to accept the result because of numerous abuses that he described had taken place both before the election and during it. And he gave quite a long list of these abuses, which he said had significantly affected the result. Um, but as he was speaking, the election commission itself, which tallies the count, um, confirmed that the governing Barisan National Coalition that has ruled Malaysia for more than half a century, unbroken since independence, had again won a majority of the 222 seats in Parliament. So they've reached a simple majority. They've got 112 seats, which gives them that majority. Uh, the council has to be finalized. And clearly, as far as the opposition is concerned, there has to be an adequate response to its many, many complaints of abuses. Um, in our discussions with the Election Commission, they've insisted that whatever abuses there may have been have not affected the results of the election. That's clearly not the opposition view. Um, they're very unhappy about it. Uh, but I think the way the count's going at the moment, um, certainly officially, it's a clear win for the, for the government again, despite a very, very tight race. Jonathan, you've been speaking to a lot of people in the polling stations, many of those uh, voters, and despite everything you've just been telling us, uh, a lot of them really felt their vote counted. Well, it counted because for the first time there was a real opposition. I mean, there was a genuine possibility for people to choose an alternative that might form a government. That simply never happened before. Um, the governing coalition has been so dominant, there's never really been a real opposition. And, and to be honest, it's not a real level playing field. I mean, the, the, all the sort of mainstream media is blatantly pro-government, pro, pro and so it is very difficult for opposition movements to develop here. Um, but there has been significant changes in Malaysian society which have brought a much greater demand for an end to the kind of corruption that goes on and for some kind of alternative. And that wave of, of, of desire for change has really supported this opposition coalition and given it the best shot we've ever seen in Malaysia of a challenge to the government. In the end, it seems it was not enough. Now, whether that was because of abuses, and certainly there were some, or irregularities, or whether simply the government's message that uh, it is the safest pair of hands, it's brought development to Malaysia, whether that resonated, particularly in rural areas, enough to keep their support up, we don't know yet. But as far as the official count is concerned, the government is the clear winner.